Welcome to the Cornerstone. My name is Matthew. It is time for our daily read this morning. What's the thought? As always, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Who yes. Love that song. Also, the goodness of God, you're going to hear on a lot of my shorts. That's going to be in there. I just got back from doing some thrifting. The good Lord, what the good Lord did, it's all about mindset. Get your mindset right. You got to do your planning. Planning for the future. That's about the title is I'm going to tell you in just a brief moment. But, you know, you get your mind frame right. You realize that every gift that you have is from the good Lord. Every day is a miracle. And it's, you know, that type of mindset is going to dictate the type of joy that you live on a second by second basis. It's when you start to see God everywhere, when you start to see the 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 miracle of every day, of everything you see, uh, it's who it totally changes your life. Also, you put God in the center of everything and then blessings come out of it that you would have never imagined. I'm talking about blessings, just as peace of mind, as far as being happy, your relationships. If you have a husband or a wife or a brother or a sister, it just completely changes absolutely everything. And even if I got to tell you, your spirit, man, changes blessings on blessings. Let's go ahead and get in here because the, the title of this is a great future requires a detailed map. Hmm. I think about financial stuff and I think about putting God first, reading twice a day to completely change your mindset, inviting the Holy Spirit into your life, Whoo! getting into that spirit, learning, you know, it's just, yes, here we go. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost? Whether he has enough to finish it lest after he has laid the foundation is not able to finish all see it begin to begin to mock him mm. saying the man began to build and was not able to finish or what king going to make a war against another king does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000 that's Luke 14 28 through 31 all right it goes on here and it says the father created a meticulous plan for salvation the miraculous birth an outstanding life an excruciating death and the glorious resurrection of his son jesus christ Ooh, we are about to see i gotta tell you i just got a nativity today and i was so i was so psyched up about it it's from the 1970s i will show you that in another video i yeah it was pretty cool pretty cool all right so Goes on, there is nothing God does without first laying out a detailed plan. Well, we see in Genesis where he makes the world. And <laughs> yeah, he definitely does that. Solomon tells us a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. God is into details. When we are committed to our dream and express it with a detailed plan of carrying it out, we provide ourselves with a visual reminder of where we are going and how and how believe we will arrive there. <laughs> that was a little bit, I don't know why that stumped me. Okay, so the journey of life always starts with a vision, but too many individuals step right there. Stop right there. Parking as if permanently stationed in the lot of a supermarket. They go no further than the vision. We must understand that every journey has costs associated with it. If you want to get close to God, you've got to spend the time in the Word. When you spend time in the Word, that cost is so little compared to the many blessings you get. And the many blessings that God can use you to be able to affect people and plant seeds in people. Whoo! Oh, mm -mm -mm. Okay. These costs may be in terms of time. Oh, I already just read that, but I'll read it again. Time, energy, finances, choices, sacrifices, and a number of other factors. We must begin to take the vision we have of our lives and carefully write it down. Making it plain before our eyes as we do. God begins to fulfill what he assigned us to do without a detailed plan of action. Our destinies are never reached, but with it, our lives become a dream come true. What kind of dream come true life do you want? By the way, please put any type of prayer request that you have into the comments. I am going to pray for you personally. I, I feel so blessed every time I hear, I see a prayer request, just put the word yes in there. I, I feel blessed because I can take the time to 
to, to go to my Lord and Savior and know that I have unlimited, unlimited uh, options or opportunities to go to my Lord and talk to him and pray. A lot of people don't see it like that. But when you start to, when you start to see it like that, it's not a burden. It is a gift. <laughs> and as we more we pray, the more we get to our, our relationship builds with him. As we build our knowledge, building the knowledge, guys, build them on knowledge. He is. He provides us all the information that we need. That book, this book is not outdated. No, the Bible is not. It is. It was. It's just as meant for as much for in today's time than any other time. Do not listen to anybody that tells you otherwise, because they cannot rewrite this book. <laughs> It is much, it's for today, yesterday, and tomorrow until he comes. And, uh, whoo, amen and amen on that. I want to thank y'all. I thank y'all so very much. Put in a plan, a detailed plan. I, you know, it is true financially, you got to have a plan. That, that is true. And a lot of times, I think financially, and I think so much. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to throw it in there. Ever since that memory fog was taken out, I have a chance to be able to, to build my relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I am taking advantage of it. I have dedicated this channel to him. This is his channel. I'm just sitting in. <laughs> and I feel so blessed to be here. I uh, I feel blessed that he's using me in this way. I want to tell you, he loves you. I love you too. I look forward to, if you would like to, just put the word yes in the comments. Love to pray for you. Pray for me. I uh, We all need prayers. Yes. Yes, we do. Get focused. Get focused on the word. Get focused on your relationships. When I say get focused on your relationships, when you change, your relationships change. And when you change, the people around you start to change because they're like, how do you have so much joy? Where's it coming from? How how are you never like, uh, you know, like droll, you know, and like depressed, but you're starting to look towards the positive things and you're looking at things as what God's doing for you right now because he is doing things for you right now. Oh, yes, he is. Even when I was out thrifting today, he was he was there with me. He gave me a fishing reel, which is a $199 fishing reel for like $5. Now, here, check this out. He, of course, <laughs> um, he he created everything. He created the fish for me to fish for him. He created the fishing pole. I actually had a fishing pole with it too. But the reel, the reel, I didn't even check how much the, the pole was. But the reel itself, oh, he gave me the $5 to buy it. And when he gave me that $5, now he gave me a $200 reel that I could buy with it and a pole. Not yeah. But the point here is, and then I thought to myself, this is a Christmas gift from God for me. Now he gave me more than that, but I would never spend $199 for a fishing reel. I don't care if I have $10 million in the bank. I'm probably not going to do it. That's just the way I am. Y'all have a beautiful day. I appreciate you. He wants to drop blessings on blessings on you. Ooh, thank you for showing up for the Daily Read. I will look forward to seeing you hopefully tomorrow here at The Cornerstone.